Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is another installment in the uh, deck walkthrough series that I have been doing. I hope you've been uh, watching all of my previous videos and have been enjoying it. Today I'm going to be doing the Morgan Greer Tarot deck and this is a very beautiful deck that was uh, put out in, um, published in, in the 1970s, uh, the late 70s. And it is a deck that has been done by um, Bill Greer and Lloyd Morgan. It's a borderless deck and it's got some very, very vibrant colors, very bold colors in it. And it is a deck that follows the rider weight system. Uh, so it uses all that kind of symbology. There's, the pictures are just uh, redrawn and uh, you know uh, you've got a different emphasis the emphasis being more on the characters rather than on the background so um, I'll just show it to you the box itself uh, you know it's quite a sturdy box it comes um, with the chariot uh, picture of the chariot on the front and you've got uh, the eight of cups uh, behind and it's got the name of the uh, tarot deck on the side it's a, a, a deck that has been done by the US game system so the size of the cards as we take them out is about 7.6 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Uh, the deck itself, uh, you know, there's no thick uh, book uh, to accompany it. It's just really got a very, very thin book uh, um, that tells you exactly, uh, you know, uh, what each particular card meaning is. Uh, and it gives you um, the Celtic cross spread and the positions with this particular deck so very you know a bit of a flimsy book but enough to get you going and enough to to read on it and if you have any information uh, or if you have any uh, you know literature about the uh, Rider Waite Smith deck you can actually use that because it's following that symbology quite closely so that's the little white book it's got two extra cards on it because they get printed in um, sets of 80 so there's always going to be two cards but this they've used as an advertisement for one and they told you a little bit about Morgan Greer on the other one. The back of the card has got a blue background and it's got stars on it and as you can see these are borderless uh, decks here if you look at the front the face of the cards. Now the whole deck has been numbered in Roman numerals rather than in any Arabic numerals so the major and the minor arcana uh, cards have both got Roman numerals at the top of the cards with the major arcana they've got the title of the card on the top this card uh, this deck is in Italian um, I was uh, I ended up buying one in Italian because I was far too lazy to send it back um, for an exchange in English but it it serves me pretty well um, you know the actual pictures on the cards are quite evident and you know you don't even really rely on uh, the label of the card but you, it does come in English as well so, like I said, borderless and a really good cardstock. You know, it's it's really nice, very hardy, and uh, can give you a really good intuitive read just looking at it. So, it really focuses on the characters rather than on the background on it, and it seems to amplify the characters. You know, they're drawn really nice and big, very bold, and it's a very good deck for uh, if you're a beginner. Uh, so, you can focus on different aspects of the character, and, you know, this is the thing that allows you to do the reading. Uh, you know, you can see that pretty clearly. So, I'm going to take you through the um, major arcana and then the minor arcana so it is 78 cards of uh, in total and uh, let's go through the major arcana so this is the full card the magician it's got some really beautiful colors uh, you've got the high priestess and you can see the veil and the moon and her carrying the scroll so these are uh, you know features of that particular card and they're really nicely done very up close um, you've got the empress the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers. There is a little bit of nudity, but it's not awful. Uh, you know, it's not very explicit. You've got uh, the Chariot over here, the Lion, uh, or the Strength card, rather, <laughs> uh, the Hermit, uh, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death. Temperance, the devil, uh, this is the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and this is the world card. So this is the major arcana. 
Um, oh, and this was the Wheel of Fortune. I think I've messed the deck up a bit. So this is the Wheel of Fortune card. Um, so that's number 10. Now for the Minor Arcana, uh, you've got the Pentacle suit over here. And you can see the Pentacle's really nicely done. A uh, big hand holding it. You can see that gateway opening up over there. So, you know, emphasizing all the, uh, the message of the card really nice and clearly. So this is the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, this is the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Then you've got the Page of Pentacles here, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles here. This is the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Five of Wands. So here it's just, there's no people actually being shown, but just the hands. And you can see, you know, this is the card of uh, meeting resistance. So you can see a lot of, uh, you know, clashing of ideas going on over there. So uh, this is that Five of Wands. This is the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands. The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, oops, and the Ten of Wands, carrying all those burdens. So this is the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. So you can see the colors are really vibrant. It's got a lot of energy in the deck itself. So this is the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Uh, this is a little different, you know, you've got the hands tied, it's a card of anxiety, but you're feeling very restricted. So different kind of interpretation of the Nine of Swords there, and the Ten of Swords. This is the Page of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. Then this is the uh, Cup Suit. Uh, so this is the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. This is the picture on the back of the box, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. And this is the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and uh, the King of Cups. What's very nice is that they're facing in directions, so you know you have interactions of cards that uh, do happen as well. So when you're laying out the spread, uh, this is a, a very nice feature of this particular deck. So such, uh, you know, it's a, such a beautiful deck, and it's got very very vibrant colors. It's in a good size. It's got a good finish to it. It's a very sturdy deck, uh, and very very unusual. Uh, and it's very very good for intuitive reads as well. So apart from knowing the symbology, you know, if you're just looking at cards, there, it's very, very good. And like I said, an excellent deck for somebody who is beginning to read the tarot, just to get comfortable with all the characters within the tarot uh, deck itself. So um, I hope that um, you um, try this deck or buy the deck. Uh, you know, it might end up going out of print pretty soon, uh, but it's such a beautiful deck. It's very difficult to get borderless decks, uh, and this is one of those borderless decks, but it's got such beautiful colors in it, and that makes it really, really beautiful and very unusual. Um, so um, I hope that you do give it a try and I hope that you've enjoyed this video uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe to this uh, if you like it and um, I'll put in links uh, to Amazon and eBay uh, so that you can get a hold of the deck uh, so uh, give it a try it's a really lovely deck and you will really enjoy using it. It, it it's got such a nice mood lifting quality to it um, so thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.